Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 4 we are working on lesson number 11 and that means that we are solving and creating fractional word problems involving addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now as is often the case when we have homework that only involves word problems, there are not that many problems on tonight's homework. I think there's only five. So I'm just going to do one of those problems all the way through from beginning to end as an example of how, might you, how you might approach homework problems tonight. Let's take a look at problem number two. Problem number two, let's see, we're going to use our read, draw, and write strategy. Here, let me get that over here. Let me thicken my pencil a little bit and let me see if we can read first. Let's go ahead and do the reading. A plus auto body is painting designs on a customer's car. They had 18 pints of blue paint on hand. They used one half of it for the flames and one third of it for the sparks. They need seven and three quarters pints of blue paint to paint the next design. How many more pints of blue paint will they need to buy? So it looks like it's kind of a two part problem. We know how much they started with. We know how much they used. That's gonna leave them with some amount of leftover paint. And then we know that they on this next project, they need seven and three quarters. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a draw part of our right draw, redraw and write strategy. Let's see. Let's start with the blue paint they had on the first part of the project. We know they had 18 pints at the beginning. So that's my hole, 18 pints. They used one half of it for the flames. Okay, so that's like that, right? This would be one half. One half of it for the flames. Oh, and then one third of it. We'll do that. One third of it for the sparks. And then later we'll solve the other half of this problem. So let's take a look at this part first. Let's see. What is one half of 18? I mean, we could go ahead and do that here. One half times 18. That's the same as 18 divided by 2. That is 9. So that means that one half of it meant they, when they use one half of it for the flames, that means they use 9 pints. What is one-third of 18? Well, we could do the same thing, one-third times 18, but you know, we could also use mental math, right? A third of 18 is 18 divided by three, so that would be six, I think, right? So that's six. And then, well, let's see, how much did they have left over? Let's see, they had 18 to start with right here, right? They had 18, and then they used nine, and then they used six more. We might be able to do mental math there. This looks like 18 minus 15, right? Let's see if that makes sense. Would it make sense that 9 plus 6 plus 3 would add up to 18? Oh, sure enough, right? 9 plus 6 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So I think that we have, I'm going to label this LO. This is leftover. They had, they needed 3, or they had 3 left over. So let's, now that we know, they did this painting of the flames. They did this painting of the sparks. They had 3 pints left over. They need... Seven and three fourth pints of blue paint to pre to paint the next design. Oh, okay. Well, this is going to be I think easier than I thought, right? So they had seven and three fourths. I'm sorry, they needed seven and three fourths. They had three left over from the previous one, and that is going to equal what they need to get. Let's see, seven holes minus three is four, and three fourths, right? Seven minus three is four. And then 3 fourths minus nothing is 3 fourths. So it looks like they need, I'm going to just say that, they need, they need 4 and 3 fourths pints of blue paint. For the second... project. Awesome. Well, that ought to do it. So look at this. This is a very complicated problem, right? With a whole two different fractional parts. We're figuring out the third fractional part. Then we're moving on to a whole second part of the problem where we have a new hole and then we use our leftover paint and then we have to figure out how much more we have to buy. And gosh, if it's not a fairly simple, straightforward problem. I mean, none of the math ends up being very difficult at all, right? We had to figure out one half of 18, no problem. We had to figure out one third of 18, no problem. We had to figure out the missing part in a part, 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 whole problem, no problem. We could do that mentally. That left us with a second, really pretty easy subtraction problem where we had 
a, a, a mixed number minus a whole number. Well, that's something that we did, geez, two modules ago. And then we just have to go ahead and write our, uh, our final answer. But it's none of it's too bad. I, think, I have a feeling that some of the other problems in this, uh, in this homework are going to be a little more challenging. But I also have confidence that you're going to push yourself and be able to solve many of those problems well and to do excellent work, partial work, on many of those other problems. So best of luck tonight on homework, and I'll see you again next time on Mr. Cunningham's Problems. Take care.